This laptop did not want to stay charged. Do you have a laptop that still works, but the cord is janky? Does it wiggle like this when you plug it in, but it still works and still charges? Sometimes? If the laptop charges, even occasionally, that's actually good news, and it's a super easy fix, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's one you can do yourself, very simply. You just need a mini glue gun, a few glue strips, and a tiny screwdriver. I know within 24 hours of releasing this video, a bunch of experts are going to chime in and tell me that this is the dumbest idea anybody has ever said, and that you should never do this, and obviously I don't know what I'm doing. I've done this on hundreds of laptops over the last 30 years, and I've never had one single laptop ever overheat or burst into flame because of a hot glue treatment. It just isn't going to happen. The important thing to know is what you're working with. This is a glue stick. This is non-conductive. Now, they are sensitive to extreme heat. That is true. The reality is you're going to be putting this glue on the back of a device that barely gets warm during normal usage. The most important thing is to keep this glue away from anything involving circuitry. That's where you make the mistakes. All we're doing is putting this on the back of a piece of metal to hold it in place. So bear that in mind as we continue. Now again, it's important to understand the problem that you're trying to solve. This video is for laptops that are intermittently charging. If your laptop doesn't charge at all and the connection is pretty solid, then chances are you have a bad DC jack, which later on in the video I will address. There are only so many things that can prevent your computer from charging. The first and obvious solution is always the laptop charger itself, the plug that goes into the wall. You can replace those for 15 to 20 bucks. The other possibility is that you actually have a bad battery. That does happen. Those can also be easily replaced for 10, 15, 20 dollars. The other possibility is a DC jack, which I will address later in the video. And worst case scenario is a bad motherboard, which is not allowing the charge to flow through to the battery. In that case, most of the time, it makes more sense just to get rid of it. Today, I'm specifically addressing laptops that intermittently charge. Your laptop says it's charging, then it's not charging. Chances are, if that's the problem you're experiencing, today's video is gonna be perfect for you. Okay, so before we get started, it's time for some disclaimers. Before you start tearing into your laptop like a madman, I highly recommend you get on YouTube and find someone who has actually made a video on how to disassemble your exact model so you can see whether or not that power plug or DC jack is actually accessible. A lot of modern laptops don't have that DC jack in plain sight. Sometimes everything is tucked on the other side of the motherboard, in which case you would have to completely tear your laptop apart to get to it. In that case, I would definitely recommend contacting a professional. But a lot of laptops have easy access for this DC jack and your hard drive. So if you watch the video and you see how easy it is and you see that that DC jack is visible, this is something you could do very simply. Second caveat is, if you are absolutely terrified to take anything apart, I would probably not recommend you try this method. Now, again, as long as you're safe and you don't touch anything that's electronic, you should be fine but some people have a problem replacing the air filter in their car. And if you're one of those people, I just recommend contacting a professional. You're gonna have much better results and be less frustrated in the end. So if you do decide to take the risk, everything you need to know, I'll go ahead and link down in the description below. You can click right on it and have it delivered right to your door. And last thing, using a single screwdriver, but I'm a tech, so I have tons of these. Logically, you wanna get something like this that has different bits on it because every laptop is different. Some laptops may have Torx bits and some may have regular Phillips head bits. Something like this is gonna be much more beneficial for you. These are super cheap and they come in handy for pretty much everything around the house that you might need it for. So if you bought it now, you can still use it for other things around the house. Oh, and one extra thing. I thought I'd make today's video a little more fun. So I put a few Easter eggs in the video. Let me know down in the comments if you find them. I had enough talking, let's get into it. Now, obviously every laptop is different, so I'm not gonna go into the specifics of your laptop but let me show you the general information you need and if you need to find a way to take the back cover off your computer you can easily look up a youtube video and show you how to do that to a lot of people this is very intimidating the most important thing is just remember not to try to touch anything on the green circuit boards you can touch the metal parts the plastic parts all day long they're not going to hurt you the good news is is we're not even really going anywhere near anything of importance we're focusing right here so this part right here where your charger plugs in is called a dc jack now it is basically just a receptacle for your charging port if there's a plastic piece here that normally holds it in place so that it provides resistance if that plastic piece is gone there's nothing holding this in place so what happens is you plug your laptop in and it 
barely makes that connection and can pull back and forth like this, which is why sometimes your laptop will charge and sometimes it won't. As an example, I'm gonna apply pressure that way with the DC jack and look how easily the charger goes in and stays connected. So what we need to do is find a way to make this stay in place. And again, if your laptop charges, even occasionally, that means that this DC jack right here is good. Now I'm gonna pull this hinge up and show you. This right here is what makes the magic happen. And you can see that all it is is just a receptacle. It doesn't even have to be seated in here, but I can look in here and see that there is some plastic pieces missing. So I know this DC jack is good. Now in a situation where you don't get any charge at all, you would need to replace this part. It's usually about five or 10 bucks on eBay, no big deal. And in this case, it's just a little plug right here that you could literally unplug this, replace it, put it back in place, put your laptop back together, and next thing you know, you have a fully working laptop. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to get this piece to sit correctly so that your charger goes in solid and keeps your laptop charged using just a glue gun. Before I do any glue work, I just wanna make sure that everything is in place. You can see the jack is here and it's good and solid against the outer edge and the cables are following the natural channel that's in the plastic. If you haven't removed this piece, it should be exactly that way. And the other important thing is just make sure that there's clearance for these screw holes, which allows these things to lock down in place and then hold your screen together. So what we wanna do is we wanna go right in here. And again, the, the cables are coming right off of this. So having glue on here isn't going to hurt anything. It's not going to interfere with anything at all. But what it is gonna do is it's gonna create a barrier to keep this thing from sliding all over the place. I almost feel bad, this is so ridiculously simple. I have fixed so many broken power jacks over the years doing this, it's not even funny. So first thing I'm gonna do is just wanna hold this in place and then just Put some glue right here behind it. All we're doing is creating a barrier. You do not want to get any on your motherboard. More glue is not always a solution, but you want to put it right where it matters, right here behind the jack. That's it. That's all there is to it. Normally I would put something on here to hold it in place, but it's already starting to harden. So I'm just gonna leave it there and let that glue do its job. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Now, if you have a DC jack that doesn't charge at all, and you are not willing to swap this out, the advantage of at least getting inside the computer is that you can get access to your hard drive. Usually it's just held down by a couple screws and you can take it right out. And at least when you get rid of the computer, you still have your personal data. You don't have to worry about it floating around the internet. But this is a super cheap and easy fix and might keep you from having to go buy another computer just by putting a little hot glue behind your DC jack. A few minutes later, much better. And just like that, we've got a working laptop once again. I hope I was able to explain this in language that made you feel a little more comfortable about possibly doing repairs on your own laptop. And again, if you know that there's no risk and you just wanna give it a shot, then go for it. Just follow the directions I gave you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me first and let me guide you. And by the way, did you find those Easter eggs? Let me know.